Hi Pisces, thank you so much for taking time out to tune in to your general energy reading for November 1st through the 16th, 2018. As you guys know, general energy means it will not resonate with everyone every time. But that being said, I do ask my guys to provide helpful information for everybody who takes time out to stop by the channel and listen to the video. And as this video is for a two week length of time, please keep in mind that you may need to come back and watch this again. Pisces, this is for your sun, moon, and rising Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising Pisces. Please be sure to check out all of your sun, moon, and rising sign videos. As Venus is still in retrograde, you may want to check out whichever, um, sign you have in Venus, check that video out as well. Or, you know, if you're a Capricorn, I would check out whatever sign your Saturn was in at your on your natal chart. All right, guys. So November 1st through the 16th, this is the time of the Day of the Dead. So we are using um, the Tarot of the Dead, which you've seen me use for the uh, past few weeks here. And I know you guys have seen me use Wisdom of the Oracle before by Colette Baron reed Relationships will be at the end, okay? So this is just the general energy reading. <clears throat> guys you know I, I just want to say this real quick if you'd like to set up an appointment with me please don't flake out on me <laughs> um, and no show to your appointments you wouldn't do that to your gynecologist you wouldn't do that to your hairdresser you wouldn't do that to your mechanic so please don't flake out on your psychic I keep I keep a strict schedule I make it myself and I follow it because I respect myself and I respect my time and I have a family and I have a schedule of when I have to drop my son off at school, pick him up from school, make him food, feed my animals, take care of my dogs, my cats, my kid, create these free videos, muggle job. So when I make an appointment with you, please don't flake out. If you need to reschedule, just let me know. Thank you. If you can't tell, I'm kind of pissed. <laughs> I mean, life happens, but it's, okay. it's not cool to not communicate with somebody when you have an appointment. Rude. <laughs> All right, Pisces. Grounding myself, going neutral for Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. In high vibration of love and light, please give me a positive insight for Pisces. What energy is around them? November 1st through the 16th. And what do they need to know about this energy? What energy is around them November 1st through the 16th? And what do they need to know about this energy? Deep knowing. All right. I was just told to pull the book. 
So I'm pulling the book. I do what I'm told. Thank you guides for your advice and well knowing. 25, so 40. 43, deep knowing, intuition, listening to the or your oracle within, empathy, hypersensitivity. Intuition is the facility that allows you to enter into a dialogue with source. The consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It is perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to their to navigate their journeys to access their inner guidance know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all of the truth that was missing when the story was told this deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is what is available in the limitations of the human experience. You're given information that may make no sense whatsoever to a logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then to act accordingly. You're now invited into the sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources. Well, that was awesome. That feels very Piscean, very Piscean energy. Thank you guys for instructing me to read from the book on that. Okay, <clears throat> so that deep knowing, that instinctual kind of moving forward here you aren't in a happy place Pisces and you're wanting to get out of that you know that things need to change you know that you're you're feeling just out of balance with who you truly are because you are happy you are inspirational to others all right so what got you here honestly it just feels like you don't even know what got you here you it's just this constant search for happiness this constant search for for deep knowing, this constant search for being able to see your future. But right now, you just feel like you're not going anywhere. And I have to wonder if you're not, if you're not putting in the effort, if you're not fighting to go somewhere. You know you're stuck. Ugh. You know you're stuck. You're clinging to how things didn't work out for you before. You're clinging to these past disappointments, these letdowns, and it's preventing you from moving forward. Oh, Pisces. I'd love this. So you do have to put work in. You do have to see that you are valuable. You're going to have to do You're going to just really, you need to make this all about you. I mean, you're going to see this when you're supposed to see this. But it just, it feels like there's this inner turmoil with you guys. And, and that you're working it out. You are very aware of this inner turmoil here with a deep knowing card you're aware that you have been feeling stuck that your energy hasn't been moving the way you want can i just recommend a spiritual response therapy or reiki or shambhala energy work some sort of any having energy work done on you 
I recently had, and you guys know I'm a Pisces, I recently had a SRT session with Beverly Friend at um, YourSacredBlueprint.com and it was amazing. The energy shift was amazing. And it's just like you need an extra boost, okay? And SRT is clearing energy, clearing past life energy, clearing energy that's attached to you. And, and it's, it's an amazing, amazing, it's, it's a great session worth every penny, you guys. And it's just, it feels like you guys need to, energy clearing to help you let go of what you're clinging on to here. You have no control over what happened. You only have control over what's happening now and what can happen. All right. And this is the thing is how you're reacting now. That sets the tone and it changes the energy that was set for the past. You need to let go of this anger by releasing it now. Bam. The anger doesn't seem so bad from the past because you've released it now. It just changes everything. Even though you, if you've been carrying sorrow around with you for years, if you decide now to have release it and let it go, to acknowledge it, release it, let it go, offer forgiveness to yourself, offer forgiveness to the other person for yourself so that you're clearing out this energy of not offering them forgiveness. Doesn't mean you call them up and say, hey, I forgive you. This is just, you can verbally say, I forgive this person every day for a few weeks. Here comes the train. This is about you releasing the energy now. Sorry, I'm trying to, I don't know how loud the train is. We have like this crazy backyard that echoes everything. Anyway, um, releasing the energy from the past right now makes that energy from the past seem and appear and feel totally different by releasing it now. You need to release, 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 release that energy. Stop holding on to what isn't hurting you and start loving and taking care of yourself putting effort into yourself. So, you know, it just, you're not by forgiving. Okay. You're not compromising your integrity. You're freeing yourself. Accepting this past situation for exactly what it was. Accepting that you can't change that it happened. And accepting what can come out of this. The growth or the happiness that can come out of this. And the changes that can happen today. By you releasing this. And you know what it is that just has you in this place where you, you aren't fighting for it. Release so that you can start moving ahead. I know that you feel like you're not going anywhere, but release so you can move ahead. I'm also seeing be careful not to spend money. All right. Make sure you're, you're being responsible, paying bills first, buying food first, taking care of all of that and not just haphazardly spending your money. I feel like that's important too, because lots of work still needs to be put in here. Yep. I was feeling this temperance energy and I was thinking, oh God, this feels so temperancey, so temperancey. You know, you, 
you've chosen a different path. The emperor always represents the father to me. Always, always, always. In general energy, it could be both, but I'm telling you, nine times out of ten, it's going to be father energy. You, you are okay with not being like your family. You are okay with not conforming to their ways, conforming to their beliefs. Um, you know, they're, this is an example, so nobody freak out and chat and <laughs> in the comments. I mean, for an example, they're all Republican and you're a Democrat, okay? The, it's just, which by the way, thank you so much for your thumbs up on the videos. <laughs> okay, sorry. Squirrel. You know, you're just, you're okay with being different than them. And everyone sees that you're different with them. I'm worried about you feeling like you had to sacrifice yourself to fit in with them. And you know what? That was a choice you made. Nobody made you do it. If you were choosing to sacrifice yourself so you felt like you could fit into a family situation, it's time to forgive that. Forgive yourself for making sacrifices. Forgive me, forgive other people for blaming them, for um, um, making you, you know, for blaming them. Forgive yourself for blaming them. Forgive them for for the pressure that perhaps they put on you and you felt as though that you had to, you know, conform. But now you're just like, mm, you know, I don't really need to conform to this, okay? So I do feel like things are out of balance with your family, with the emperor here. You guys, I mean, this hurts, all right? It just feels like all of this stuff is coming out in the open or is about to come out in the open. And it's going to be a shock for you. It's going to knock you a loop. But you're going to learn some valuable lessons for this. Perhaps you have judged somebody too harshly, okay? And you haven't really, really considered their state of mind and situation. What they were thinking, why they reacted a certain way. And I mean, Pisces, we're, we tend to not overly judge people, but that doesn't mean we don't because we're human. And it just feels like perhaps there's some of you that have judged a parent a little more harshly than you needed to. Or a parent has judged you a little bit more harshly than they needed to. But it does feel like things are about to be restored. You don't have a problem speaking the truth. You don't have a problem feeling the truth. It's just, it's time To acknowledge that poor judgment was involved. Whether it was on your part, whether it was on somebody else's part, from your family. you got to let the truth come out in this situation. you got to speak your truth. You've got to speak your honesty, and you've got to listen as well. I feel like the father may, uh, all right, I'm just going to say it. I feel like the father energy has hidden the truth from you. The father energy wasn't completely honest with you. They may have done this too because they thought they were protecting you, but they may have also done this because they wanted to manipulate you. Uh, 
I just, I feel like some negative energy around father, okay? If you search your soul, I just, uh, the answers are going to come out. The answers will be there for you. The answers are completely within. And searching your soul is going to get you there. Honestly, I feel like I could talk about this for an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and let you contemplate that information for a little while. Relationships aren't just about romance. They're always about love. But relationships are with your family, with your friends, with your co-workers, and of course, most importantly, your relationship with yourself. We will be using The Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield and La Santa Huerta Tarot Book of the Dead because it is Dia de los Huertos. What, what? Pisces relationships. So some of you may get, um, you know, I feel like some of you are going to get um, clarification on that last reading. But for some of you, it's going to be a completely two, two information, two relationships. But we'll find out. Pisces, 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 Pisces relationship energy. Love the backs of these cards are super cute. Alright, clearing my thoughts and returning to neutral. Pisces, 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 relationship energy. Pisces, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. Which Pisces, you're pretty good at doing. You're a pretty visual beast, as it were. Um, so actions to yourself. Showing yourself your, you love yourself by forgiving yourself for past mistakes. Forgiving others for past mistakes. Using this in verbal affirmations daily. Or if you need to write it down, write it down until you can speak it out loud. Um, but saying, I acknowledge this situation, I forgive this situation, I am grateful for the lesson I have learned for this situation, okay? Oh my god, that makes me so happy. So the sun is definitely going to lessen that impact of the Ten of Swords that followed it. I mean, the sun is telling us that, yeah, you feel like you have just kind of hit this place where you aren't 
you just feel like you're, you're not, it's more of that not moving energy, being stagnant, being stuck. But the sun is telling us what the seven of um, reels told us in the general energy layout here, that your relationships do have an opportunity to move forward. You have to work at it though. Yeah, there is a happy future here. You can move forward. Just, you know, depending on yourself, depending on what you can, not, you know, it, depending on yourself, you know, like, I can do this. I'm self-reliant. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can make things happen. I can make my relationship change. I can fix a relationship. You know, with that, the six that we saw, I felt like it just, it really felt like this was a relationship that's been weighing on you for a while. Um, that just, you need to let that go. Okay. And instead of thinking about what has hurt you or why you were hurt it's a it's about just saying fuck it all and fucking no regrets and moving forward you know you can't change somebody else's mind or what somebody else does or how somebody else acts you're in charge of you and you can't say well you made me act that way no you chose to act that way if you lose your patience, it's because you decided at some point to let go of control. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. If you can't go to this person and give them, show them actions that you love them, you can do this with affirmations, okay? I do feel like this is very important that this is about you with this Ten of Swords. But the sun over here is saying, you know, yeah, you feel defeated in this relationship with yourself or with another person or just in general. You may be doing, and Pisces, you know, Pisces are kind of guilty of like, why is this happening to me? But Pisces are also really good at pulling themselves out of this, why is this happening to me really fucking quick, S especially if you have a super strong moon sign or, um, you know, rising sign, you're, you, you know, you can pull yourself out of this shit. And I know that you can, I feel like this is a little self-imposed. So I very feel, much feel like this is about you. Um, letting go of this disappointment that whatever this, you know, there's, I do feel this, this is a relationship with somebody else, whether it's a family member, whether it's your um, spouse, you know, this is about you releasing the energy you're holding around them. Okay. A future, a happy future is possible here. But you're going to have to, you're going to have to get up and get moving. You're going to have to put work in it. You're going to have to be, you're going to have to be willing and to be happy and accept that you deserve happiness. You're going to have to be willing to release. And once you release, anything is possible. It just, it feels like anything is possible. That there really, really is just There's great things waiting for you. And you can manifest this. And you can make this happen. You just kind of have to let go of this pain. Well, not kind of. You do. You have to let go of the pain. So, Pisces, you know, obviously I don't like seeing this for you. I don't like seeing this pain. But... 
being the optimistic Pisces that I am, I see that this pain and you releasing it is a valuable, valuable lesson. It's a fantastic thing that's happening for you. You're gonna let it go. You're gonna get up, dust your shit off, and move forward, Pisces. It feels like this first half of November really is about you learning to believe in yourself again. Learning to see that you deserve happiness. Learning to find the positive in everything. And you know, this isn't going to resonate with everyone to all the extremes, okay? Some of this, a little bit of this might make sense, and then there's going to be like some, and you're going to be like, well, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but take from this reading what information is the most helpful to you, what information is going to help you through this time. You know, I feel like for me personally, this is about me um, needing to fit meditation more often into my busy schedule. I, when I'm recording videos, I have a very strict schedule that I, I like to sit, stick to so that it doesn't interfere with my family time. Um, and then fitting in readings in between. So that's probably why I was so pissed at the beginning. <laughs> um, you know, when you make a, an appointment with me, please don't skip out on it and don't even tell me. Because I'm trying to get things done and making sure. I, I got a Capricorn rising sign, okay? I like to make sure my work is done right. <laughs> All right, Pisces, as always, I appreciate you.